Scrub a Dub Dub. Welcome to the Scrub Hub. And we're back to the t- twelve thousand and one. Yeah, twelve thousand lies. Like a hundred. Yeah. Well, more like whatever twelve thousand minus one hundred and twenty lies is. True. But then again, you have. Do, do you really count each Super Contra as a different game? Oh yeah, I forgot about those. All right, Sky Destroyer. I've you, never heard of this. I haven't either. It's so Whoa. ambitious. Look at this. What? Whoa! Which is really hard to do on this little bit junked out D-pad, but... <laughs> yeah, but like... It's so ambitious, and you've got bombs and stuff, and I guess you're just shooting planes out of the sky. You know what one of my main problems is? Is it's a freaking N64 controller, and it's emulating NES games. Yeah. <laughs> There's just something that is the biggest really letdown. wrong about that. But... I'm impressed. I really am. Like, if I was a kid and growing up in the 90, like early 90s. Oops. Oh, I'm dead. Whoa. It crashes. I like that. Man, I would have eaten this up as like a freaking early 90s kid. I so want to try to buy this now. See, this is good advertisement. Yeah, like Nintendo, shit. make better things like this. Like the NES <laughs> Mini. Lame. This is all you need. <laughs> this is all. Simple menu, poorly emulated games, horrible screen artifacts, no separation or... Uh, uh, the screen artifacts is what sells it. Yeah. It's realistic. <laughs> yeah. It's like you're I feel at, like it, I'm playing on a tube. <laughs> yeah. Who needs scanline emulation? I've got it. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd they all go? Where'd they all go? Well, there, you keep there. turning, so... Well, I was trying I to find them. I think they're like... So you can drop bombs on them. What? How do you do that? You press B and it drops a bomb. I don't know, but like, trying to time that. Yeah, like, well, whatever, shut up. I wanna know. Oh, the sky is pink now. Why is my gun shooting slower? My face, the auto fire. Ooh, I can shoot three once. Are you hitting the turbo button? Is yeah, that why? That's the turbo. Yeah, but normal, if you just hold normal, so you could technically press it faster, or you can just turbo and get a burst. Huh, that's cool. But turbo's cheating. Even though it's built into the games yeah, and stuff. Sort of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's built into my controller. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try to... I don't... How do you judge how far away he is? Darn, I got shot. Uh, I like how you can still fight while you're dying. I know, it's like, I ain't going down without a fight. <laughs> You'll never take me alive. So is this not like the coolest thing ever? This is pretty awesome. Like, is this real? Yeah. It doesn't feel like an NES game. It's it, so good. It feels like this should be more remembered than it is. Maybe because... I don't know. I, I really don't. Or maybe but, when it's played on the NES, it's really slow and horrible. <laughs> yeah. The double speed is helping it. That's actually what was funny. is when I was emulating uh, Excite Truck. <laughs> it would play too slow on my old computer. Darn it. And so it actually was a fun game because it was running at a speed where you could react to it. Oh my gosh. Because it's such a hard to control game normally, from, in my opinion. Alright, you want to try this out? Sure, why not? I'm going to look up some Sky Destroyer facts. Sky Destroyer facts. It's like I'm flying an actual fighter plane in World War II or whatever. It's considered a rail shooter. It's considered a rail shooter? I wouldn't really call it a rail shooter. That's not. This is not a game I think of when I think of rail because sh- I guess shooters- it technically is. You're technically no, because you can kind of fly around. That's weird. Well, yeah, it's like you're in control. In a rail shooter, you're on a rail, like, and your character gets sent in a, a certain direction. It was and- released in 1985 for the Famicom. I don't think. I don't think it was actually in America. Really. Um. Oh my god, there's shit going on all over the place! Oh, those aren't bombs, those are torpedoes. Oh. The color of the sky changes according to the time of day. What? There's a day and night cycle! Holy crap! Occasionally, the player will run into a B 24 bomber and has to shoot each of its four engines before the B 24 flies away. It flies away with his engine gone? Man. No, no points for realism. Sometimes when a player has shot down one of the B-24, sorry, he or she would in, 
Counter a falling satellite across the screen. A high amount of points will be rewarded if the satellite gets destroyed. There are bonus stages in this game. There are bonus state Man. So it wasn't released in America. No, it looks like it's just for the family computer, the Famicom. Uh, for video- oh, and arcades, but... Yeah, I could see this being an arcade game, like... Yeah, it's a Taito game. Let's go on eBay and see if I can find Sky Destroyer. <laughs> Let's see how much that'll set me back. I'm guessing... 70. Oh, I'm gonna type NES and see if it figures it out. Come on, I'm shooting you bastards, die. Like, I'm almost afraid to get too near him, because I don't want him to, like, fly into me. Oh. Oh, these are actually pretty cheap for the Famicom. Really? Like Ten bucks would get it shipped here. Or if you want the one in the box, it'll cost you, you know, yeah. a lot more. There's actually it's got it, uh Fuck, fuck, die. Is this like a game? Yes. <laughs> well there's uh Sky Destroyer Limited Edition Nintendo NES, like box art thingy. Fuck. Is this real? Oh yeah, okay, so Sky mm. Destroyer is Did Number you see which countries 50. it was released in? Just Japan, it seems like. And you're actually playing as a Japanese monoplane, if you notice the... Uh, uh, I'm... The red circles for the yeah. rising sun. Yeah. You know. The uh, cover art's really cool, too. It's this dude in a plane. Nice. Hey! But yeah, 10 bucks. It's nice. I don't have a Famicom yet, but... Ooh, cool. It's actually really nice. Alright, this game with date night... Day night cycle... Like, what was the earliest game with a day night cycle? I really don't know. That'd be fun to look up. It depends on what you count. Would you count text adventures? <laughs> Some of those might predate graphical games. Yeah. Uh, this, right, this, this is going to make me want to buy a Famicom now. <laughs> Just have this. Sky Destroyer. I like how it's almost cool. that ripoff version of the uh, Indiana Jones theme. Do -do -do -do. Oh, Do -do -do. yeah. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. All right, what do we want to try now? Uh, by the way, I never knew NES has a game called Pinball. It's just pinball. Like, less oh, okay. than Rock and Ball. It's just pinball. It's really good, though. What is Melopede? Oh, it's uh, the game Ty was talking about with the trackball. And... But... Shit, okay. Yeah. I, uh, actually, I actually own it for real. And I th did we do it on the show? Or did I... I made someone play it. I'm doing Warp Man because I have no idea. A Warp Man sounds interesting. Warp Man. Ooh, that... why was it drifting? Yeah, I don't know. I, did, I hit start too fast. What is this? This is what Portal was inspired by. <laughs> what is this? This is so mysterious. Oh god, they changed colors! What's that mean? One of them has an R, and he's gone now. And yeah, he's gone. A multi dir Oh, I'm sorry, I thought I said multi-dimensional. It's multi-directional. <laughs> I got really excited for a second. A multi-dimensional! Wow, the cover art would make you think it's the challenge of two worlds. <gasps> I made the oh, this must be the second world. Released by Namco in what? 1981. Did I blow myself up? Oh, it's Bomberman almost. Oh, easier setting bombs. Got it. Got it. Okay, so it's Bomberman now. The player must take control of a monster fighter who must shoot tongue-sticking <laughs> aliens named Barrow Burrow in the space world. These are all in quotes, by the way. Without letting them touch him. If he kills three Barrow Barrow of the same color in a row, a mystery alien will appear. They can be killed for extra points when the warp zone on the side of the screen flashes with the uh, katakana text, whatever that is for, Wapu? Waypoo? I don't know how to read Duh. dip thumb. What the fuck but... is going on? I don't and... understand! It's alright though. Oh, it is possible for monsters to warp to the maze world where Barra Barra must be killed with time delay bombs. The delay is controlled by how long the player holds down the button, but every oh. time he kills one, his bomb gets stronger, making it easier for the monster fighter to blow himself up with his own bombs <laughs> and when he returns to the space world. <laughs> this is really hyped. <laughs> It just sounds so intense for what, you know. Doo -doo 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 yeah, for this. <laughs> oh, look. It it laid an egg and it hatched. <laughs> cool. I'm not on enough drugs for this. No kidding. Yeah, you need to be high as shit. Um, it was released for basically everything. Uh, I'm making a word up top. 
That's oh, yeah, cool. you're, I think you're trying to spell warp. Fuck! Oh, that was close. <laughs> you know what? Another superb soundtrack from the era of NES. <laughs> I like it. It's mysterious. Actually, it is. It's, it wouldn't be too bad if it would, if it didn't consist of literally three notes. <laughs> <laughs> Two three-note phrases. Oh, it's four notes. Did it? Did it? Okay, I'm sorry. I'll stop talking now. I'll stop trying to count. Yeah. It looks like they have clocks on their uh, uh, yeah. front, like Flavor Flav, but actually, it's, is that right? But it's actually just uh, their tongue. Oh. So just. Di oh, it's like the old games where it does that. Okay. Namcot. I wonder if someone added a T. <laughs> Dead. There you go. Oh no, I've been handed a thing. Darn this TV. I think it, I can't tell. Well, no, it's, it's capturing the amps fine. It's the TV. Yeah. So every time we freak out, nobody knows why. Yeah. Tank 866M. Where? You back. Uh, 29. No idea. Tank. I hope you're in a I was going to say that. Oh, Battle City? Battle City. I actually have played this, but it was under a different name. On really? here? On here, yeah. Uh, uh, that's confusing. What? Oh, this one lets me select the stage easier. Okay. The other one was like locked on 98 for some reason. This game is really? ridiculously hard. To me. Because I'm not good at it. <laughs> this game is hard because I'm not good at it. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Solid logic. Or it's because the first thing I did was play level 98, so... Uh, that probably has something to do with it. What the fuck are you supposed to do? You're supposed to kill all the tanks and not have that little thing at the bottom, or you get shot. What do you mean, little thing at the bottom? See that little, in the bottom center, there's that... Yeah, I see the emblem. Thing? Yeah, that's your base or whatever. Oh, see, I died. Fuck. Oh, uh, so if the enemy shoot that... You lose, yeah. Well, good thing they're stupid and don't head directly toward it. They decide to shoot random walls and shit. Not a complaint, because that would suck if they were actually intelligent. Yeah. I'm trying to think, there's either something that was based off of this that came out relatively quickly as, like, a port or whatever that was really popular. Darn it. <laughs> or, um, this is actually a ripoff. I can't remember which. Darn it. All right, game You got on. wrecked. Whatever, this is... Anyway, that's Tank. Yeah, that's Tank. Um... Excited. Raid on Bay. <laughs> Raid on the Bungling Bay. I don't remember what this game is. Ooh, it's blue. Oh, there we go. Hey, look. Oh, that, I did play a little bit of this. Aircraft but. carrier. So this is kind of fun. Oh, you're a helicopter. I'm a helicopter. This okay. is actually really cool. Whoa. You should actually just play this. Okay. So up and down increases and decreases your speed left and right. Turns you and then you can uh, shoot. There is also bombs. One shoot and one's bomb. Or missile, I guess. Maybe it might be. Oh, okay. But it's essentially a bomb. But this game is really cool. It is cool. Like, I don't know what's going on, and I'm being bad at it, but it seems cool. I'm gonna bomb that. I didn't bomb it. Ha, huh, good, good job, good job me. All right, so let's see, what, let's let's learn some stuff about this game. Ooh, the graphics for this is intense, or the, the, what do you call that, box art's intense. Skull. Nice. Uh, okay, so I'm dropping bombs Ooh. on shit, but nothing's happening. It's a Will Wright game. I don't know who that is. I think he did uh, Sim City or something like that. I'm dropping bombs, but nothing's happening. He was yeah. He was the Sim City guy and all the other Sim games like Sim Earth, Sim Ant. Oh, well, that's cool. This chair squeaks. Uh, let's see. I haven't found anything interesting about it yet. <laughs> Ooh, the Commodore 64 version has very, uh, primitive graphics. <laughs> and this isn't primitive graphics? Well, <laughs> I mean, it has color. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, apart from offering a 2D overview of terrain, which is a bit more complex than other game, it's a simple war zone shoot <gasps> Let's see. Go! Launch an aircraft carrier to bomb six factories scattered across islands on small. Really? Because I've been bombing shit, and th that's a factory, I'm assuming. Yeah. Yeah. That, that I don't, did I don't shit. Know. Oh, no, I think it's the blinky thing. I tried that, too. But I'll try again. I'll try my damnedest. 
Uh, I don't know. God dang. I blame, um... There's also a hidden item for the player to reload on. Ooh. Failure means that the bungling empire develops a war machine to take over the planet Earth. Players have to attack its infrastructure while defending the aircraft carrier, which serves its home base. Oh, you're, it can actually get hurt? Well, that's scary. Really? Okay, can it... Uh, can I, like, land here to reload? Because I ran out of bombs. Oh, no, you have to go find the hidden island. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> uh, okay. The islands and factories in this game behave in a sophisticated manner which closely resembles SimCity. Citation needed. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Oh, Wikipedia. Citation needed. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Over time, the factories grow and develop new technologies to use against the player. There are also visible signs of interdependency among islands, such as this supply boats moving between them. In order to win the game, the player must prevent the es escalating, or the escalation of by bombing all the factories as quickly as possible, keeping them from advancing their technology. If let alone for too long, factories create enough new weaponry to overwhelm the player. Um, really? Because well, that's good because I haven't figured out how to take out one factory, so or even which thing is the factory. Yeah. But that's actually kind of cool sounding. I mean, it sounds cool. Um, but I have no idea. Like, if you run out of bombs, I guess you're fucked until you find the secret. I like. Yeah. What does it look different? Is it purple instead of green? Is hmm. I I have no. These idea. games are hilarious because, like, could you imagine being a kid, just like <laughs> buying this, plugging it in. And like all, this is what's thrown at you. Yeah, nothing. Giving nothing else than yeah. This. Like you could have this game for quite a while, and then one day you're like dicking around with it, almost giving up on it completely, and you find out that you're supposed to bomb a certain thing. I mean, I know we're one of the last generations to experience this, but that was actually me for some of these games as a child because we have. My parents little NES thing, oh, and yeah. so I would just grab random games, and we had no contact. It was just like game, okay, Dude. whatever. <laughs> I, it's a lot. Some of the old PS One games and shit that I began with did that too. Actually, they were better about it because it kind of gave you direction, but like, but a lot of them were still. I mean, Spiral just kind of throws you in. I mean, it gives you a story, but it doesn't like bombard you with shit. Like, with how to, like, uh, play yeah. and stuff, and, like, what your objective is. It's just, it's a, it's a world that's been lost now. Now you can know everything about a game before it comes out. <laughs> I know, yeah. <laughs> like, it's, it's like no a mystery. You know exactly what you're buying. You no longer, I mean, except for maybe some weird indie games or Steam sale, and you're just kind of like, eh, whatever. But you no yeah. longer are making uninformed decisions. I know, like, you don't randomly just go... I know you. This, know, this looks cool. I'll just buy it. You know, I don't. The the box art is nifty. You don't walk around GameStop. <laughs> yeah, you don't walk around GameStop going, "Oh, this box art looks cool. I'll buy this." I don't know what it is. <laughs> that is exactly how I bought all my PS One games. Uh, that is precisely like I would get allowance money and we'd go like I'd go to the game section of like Walmart or you know in, hit a GameStop and literally go through the PS1 section and be like, well, this this looks cool. Hey, look, Scooby-Doo's on the box art cover. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I, I know that show and I'd buy it. Shit, that game was actually one of the hardest sons oh, of bitches. That. EB Games, anyone remember that? That was my jam, was going to EB Games. Jesus. Dude. That. Because it was so, I it forgot was completely so much better. about EB Games. You, you know what? It. I think EB Games was... I just said GameStop because you're just I'm used to it, but fuck. You know what? I think I went to EB Games more. Yeah, oh, I certainly did because it was always cheaper. Fuck. Especially because I bought used. Okay, I have no, I'm resetting because I have no idea what to do. Yeah. That's, We're just that's flying around doing nothing. We're reminiscing about days that are long gone for kids. Load Runner. If, it, if I start this up and it says Load Runner, I'm, I'm leaving. It is Load Runner, though. Okay. No, loan. Oh, loan runner. Like, and they just changed the letter. Okay, yeah. So what's interesting is this is actually the game where they got the uh, the character design for the original Bomberman guy. Oh, oh. So you're this, but notice the Bomberman? Mmm. Yep. 
Oh, you shouldn't have done that, or something. I don't- you're supposed to kill them. And I- Ah! Uh, okay. This game is very hard. Apparently, cause... To us. <laughs> to us, yeah. Just keep prefacing that for all these people that have it on Commodore 64 going, What are you talking about? <laughs> <You're> stupid. <laughs> it's so easy. It's like, yeah, well, it's the only game you had for ten years, you know? <laughs> Not hard to imagine you're good at it. See? Ah, ha, ha. Yeah, you And did. then he's gonna get filled in the hole. Whoa! He crawled out! Oh, that guy crawled in and died. <laughs> I love the sound effects. <laughs> love it. You're confusing the little guy walking I back know. and forth. Yep, you gone. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, he killed that one guy. Damn. God. Ah. Yeah, he's dead. All right. That would be awful. Could you imagine? Just falling into a hole that someone makes, and then it it goes around uh -oh. you, and- Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that'd be terrible. For well, sure. no! It's kinda like that guy that dug like a six foot hole in sand on a beach, crawled into it, and it collapsed on him. Oh, that's awful. Yeah, they had to dig him out. He actually lived. Oh, well that's good. Yeah. Cause like, people were around and just saw it happen, so they could get to him pretty quickly. Quickly as in, it still took- Quite a while to dig through all the freaking sand. It's sand, I mean. <laughs> sound effects are great. No, there's, like, what is the goal? To get all these gold piles? Because, like, I was killing them. And it didn't seem I don't know if you're supposed to kill all of them. Yeah, I think you're supposed to kill all he of them. He pooped out a gold. I love because you can just kind of escape. You can just be like, nope. Oh, fuck. Why? Okay, that didn't <laughs> happen. Run out. Oh! You have to grab the little p powder things, and that's the number of times you can drop stuff. That is. Oh my god. Okay, is there a counter for that? Cause it, uh, I don't think there's deep. a counter. No, there's no counter. I guess you just have to wing it. Whoa. Whoa! Why didn't I guess I... you can't do it when they're on it. Oh. <laughs> oh damn. <laughs> I just stared oh. at it like, well... <laughs> but it's, this kind of cool. is hard. Damn. I can't even get past stage one. Generally, like, with these games, I can at least do that. <laughs> Just get past the, get past the, the first stage. stage. You're gone. Oh, fuck! Oh, God! <laughs> it's like when both of them are coming at... Oh, okay. Alright, you're dead. Yeah, let's see if I can find a game here. Let's just skip ahead to the third page. I wonder what here. Tetris is. <laughs> it's funny how they didn't change the name of that one. To like so, Tetris. So yeah, this is actually just the Tetris game I have, but I don't remember the title screen on it there, that part there, because then it's then it's what I'm used to. Huh? Weird. And, uh, and then the actual little Russian title thing. It's really cool. That's really cool. This one has a lot of background noise. Oh, that's right. When it's silent, it. Okay. That's. <laughs> yeah, what? I you want that. You have music selection. Yeah. That's cool. Um, so this one's different. If you hold down, it actually changes the piece thing, and then one of the buttons sets it. A puts it down. Oh. So you press the down arrow to rotate it. So it's slightly different. Uh, and then I'm at a weird angle, so I can't really count the pieces. So that's... What do you mean? I, without the grid lines at my angle, I can't tell. Oh, yeah. yeah I can't tell where some things are. <laughs> That was an intense way of telling yeah, that it's... you... Oops, I thought this was the other piece. There you go. Kind of. There you go. I, I'm i not a fan of Tetris, but I'm not awful at it. Um, yeah. Oops, I didn't notice I was going to another one. I wasn't looking. Hey! Oh, I think that would have fit. In that little gap thing. Oh, see, I don't know this game well enough to know if I can push it that fast. And I don't know how to make it fall fast, just so you have to wait. <laughs> so that's why I don't do it. Because <laughs> you can't hold down to make it go a little faster to get it to where you can scoot it in. Um... Da, da, da. Let's set it there. <laughs> Eh. Pew, 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 pew. So intense. Was this like the original? 
Um, early port of it. I don't know what the I can't remember what the original came out on. Okay. But this is the original NES one, which I do believe I own. Yeah. But this is actually before it got popular. Um, it was. You owned it before you got it got popular. Yeah. Because it only got shit. popular because it was a pack and title with, or at least you got it early on, with a uh, Game Boy. Oh, okay. And that's what made it super popular. Because it was an easy enough game to be portable. Cool. Alright, well, I could obviously literally play this forever. Yeah, it's Tetris. It's, it's just Tetris. <laughs> we all know Tetris. <laughs> I uh, think. I mean, I can't speak for all of us, but... Is it not getting faster either? Or certainly not as frequent as the new ones, anyway. Yeah, I don't know. One more little thing before we end this episode. Something different. Kung Fu is uh, the game we played on the show. What's F1 Race? Or Road Fighter? What's more exciting? Road Fighter, because I feel like F1 Race is just another port of, of pole, pole position, position. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this... Sweet. Alright. This is different. Dude. Oh yeah, feel meter, Dude. just warning you. Dude. Dude. <laughs> that was horribly... <laughs> That was a horrible. You have to hold the B button, not A. <laughs> Oops. Oh, damn. damn. I mean, I guess if you're going 200 kilometers per hour, you would and you ram have into trouble. somebody. Uh... Oh, I'm glitching Jesus. the graphics by pressing the A button. I'm trying to see what the A button does. I'm pretty sure that acceleration would kill anybody inside. Oh, I see. You hold B to go first gear speeds, and then you hold A to go high... That's... What? What's with the graphics, anyway? Alright, I'm... Anyway, next time on Scrub Up, this is... something. Okay. So, within seconds, you go from 0 to 124 miles per hour. <laughs> like, I, I, like I said, the acceleration in the game would probably kill it. Anyway.